Hey y'all, so as you may have seen, we've got some pictures of um, an ambulance that's been wrecked on my story. Uh, what happened there was that was a workplace accident that I was involved in just over five years ago. And uh, now what we've got going on here that's kind of stimulated the, uh, the fire to get all this information shared and kind of make you guys a little bit more aware of what's going on is um, Alberta Health Services has delivered kind of the, the final nail in the coffin of the hypocrisy and lies that I've been told and the prom promises that are just not kept when uh, I was going through this whole recovery process and uh, the um, kind of reintegration and restructuring of my life after that after that accident you guys so just to give you an idea as to where and why all this got fired up and started um this past october so october in 2021 i ended up to choose to walk away from ahs ems um there were quite a few reasons and i will be going over those more in detail because the story is five years in length, there's quite a bit of detail to go over and just everything stacking up ended up October being the final date of my appointment with NHS EMS. Now, we're gonna go back two years in August to um, the third. I received an overpayment recovery letter from AHS for a payment that was issued in my account back in the December of 2018. Now, after this letter was sent out, there was quite a bit of additional issues and concerns that were raised within AHS and EMS. And again, you guys, those details will come out later. Um, but I ended up reaching out on an email to the entire upper management and everyone requesting support for mental health and just being recognized that I'm having issues and concerns and that I would like to get the support that I need. Within that phone call of the executive director, which is the second from the highest from chief paramedic in the province. So the executive director is quite high in our zone. He's the next to the highest person for the central zone, which was where I was based out of when I got injured, told me that this overpayment was a error and that there'd be no reason to worry about it anymore they will deal with it i was promised that by ahs by the executive director person who can absolutely make that just go away but instead november 15th of uh 2021 terminated overpayment recovery notice letter now when i go and open this up and i will show you guys the difference, what happened here was originally they were requesting $1,700. Let's go ahead and open this up for you. Make sure we have the right page open up. Almost $1,800. So $1,778.03, 70, $1 as you can see right there. I'll actually flip the camera over and give you guys a look. As you can see right there, net total. Now. Going over to the new one, as you can see, payment to date, $678.87. I haven't worked for AHS in these last two years since the initial request for the overpayment and this last request for the overpayment. However, there are retro pay that was issued to me for an updated union agreement for the years that I worked within there. HS unknowingly to me stole that money after I was being told that it was wiped and cleared away. Hmm. Seems a little fishy to me. Seems almost like the lies and hypocrisy never stop. So if you guys want to see the way that my ambulance looked, I'm going to go ahead and post that as pictures right after this video. And, uh, Go ahead, click that uh, story as well because I've got them uploaded there for now. But yeah, this is the start to many of these more raw 
story-based videos as per the bull and hypocrisy of AHS EMS, their HR, and the Health Science Authorities Association, I believe is what it is, HSAA, that union, laughable excuse for uh, a healthcare body that um, really doesn't take care of their employees. Employees that are broken are like broken toys. They throw them away and they go and grab a new one, you guys. But that being said, I'll uh, hopefully be seeing you with some cheerier news in the future. Cheers.